Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again to serve up yet, well, a bit of a DC multiverse video. This is a look at the brand new Wave 2 of McFarlane Toys' 3-inch page punchers. And a special shout out and a thank you to them for sending these out to give you guys this early look. They should be on store shelves relatively soon, but if you're interested for these for the holidays, well, we'll give them a look-see. So, first and foremost, we have the Flashpoint Batman, of course, Thomas Wayne. The significance of these particular figures is that they're minifigures which come with a comic book, corresponding comic book, in this case, Flashpoint, issue number two, actually, which, hey, it's got uh, some great artwork in there. Flashpoint is kind of done at this point, right? But we still got more figures coming next year, especially for Target. Here is the barcode for the Flashpoint Batman, if you're interested. And just keep in mind, all of these clamshell packages are resealable. There is quite a bit of tape on either side. There's about uh, five pieces of tape to get through, but you can reseal them and put them on your wall. I've seen people do that. Next one up is, of course, Nightwing. This is the Rebirth Nightwing. Another little tidbit about these is that they're basically the seven inch style DC multiverse figures shrunk down. So just keep that in mind. Here's the barcode for Nightwing. And it's the same thing, of course, with every other figure. Although just in kind of looking at the packaging and such and seeing the figure without having taken them out, I can tell you that some of the problems, let's say like with the Green Lantern, Hal Jordan hasn't really been fixed. Although I would love to see a Spectre or a Parallax Hal Jordan, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, you're getting the standard DC Multiverse one with the weird arms and everything else. But yeah, let's uh, let's get some Spectre Hal Jordan action going. That's actually pretty cool. And that's uh, the Green Lantern Rebirth. But uh, as you can tell, yeah, it's just eh, a shrunk down version. Not much on the back. Here's the barcode. Yada, yada. So you got all these heroes. And uh, finally, yeah, we're getting to a, a villain, which is always good to see. And that, of course, being the Joker. You get this interesting comic book. Quite terrifying for children, right? Especially if you're buying it for them. Here's the barcode for the Joker. And yeah, and kind of just looking at it through the packaging, you can tell it's kind of like a mix of Joker, DC Comics, and then the Arkham Joker. So we'll get all these out of the packaging. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new 3-inch Page Punchers Wave 2 by McFarland Toys. And while I got all you page punching peoples here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates, yada yada, you know the drill by now. So we'll check out Hal Jordan first. And I'll tell you right now, the sculpt is good, right? If you're into these more three-inch style figures. Now, I did look at Wave 1. They were okay, I did like where they were kind of going. However, I have to tell you, in Wave 2, they didn't really improve upon the formula. And plus, no fisted hands. I mean, he does have a little blob of green right there for the ring, which it's at this point, I want a little bit more. You know what I mean? And it's just, again, the shrunk down version of the DC multiverse. Green Lantern Hal Jordan, which means, yes, he's got the weird arms and the weird proportions. You can still remove all the different limbs. You kind of do like a He-Man Origins kind of style, right? The one caveat being you can't do much with the Joker's parts. He's too tiny. But if you wanted to make a Green Lantern Batman, well, you, you can do that. So that is one element of a play feature because other than that, pretty much they're what, a six points of articulation style figure with the waist, the arms, the head, and the legs. They don't have anything at the elbows or the knees, which, hey, that's not a bad thing. Actually, I think that's where a lot of action figures are heading these days. Articulation is kind of going to the wayside, being prices what they are and whatnot. So simplicity might be a return to form coming soon for 2023 remains to be seen, but it's just okay. They're just okay. That's really all I got for you. I would say these are kind of left best as, wow, I really like the Joker. So I'll get a Joker figure. However, I'm going to tell you, I can't really recommend this Joker. He has more problems and such, and it's right here when you start to kind of mess with the waist. His tails from his coat popped off. Now, at first I thought, well, these are supposed to be glued in, 
No, they're just kind of, they, they, they plug into the back, which is totally fine. But then anytime, see, it just falls right off. Anytime you want to move the legs around, you want to move the waist around, which, hey, again, if you're buying this for kids, they're definitely going to want to move this figure around, but that's going to be increasingly... <laughs> now that I've done it once, it's uh, it's all. And again, like I said, I thought, oh man, was this like broken? Was it glued in? It's just kind of a frustrating, tiny little figure, right? So do keep that in mind. Again, a lot of people kind of like to keep these on card. They make for a nice display, which I totally get. But if you're like me and you want to open them up and take them out, there's really not a whole lot of form and function to them. Again, this one being based off of a little bit of the Arkham, a little bit of the DC Comics. You can see the patches and the unpainted chains and whatnot. So kind of a step backward as opposed to Wave 1, which is a definite bummer. And then you have... Nightwing, and I've said this before all the time, it'd be nice if you got weapons. Well, Nightwing has weapons, but then, of course, they're molded into the back. So they're non-removable weapons. I, it, it, that is kind of frustrating. You know what I mean? It's like, well, that would have been really cool if they would have situated it where you can remove the weapons, right? Tiny little weapons, of course. You can't really do much Dick Grayson acrobatics, right, because of the limited articulation they just kind of stand there on the shelf, which again, is not really a bad thing, but it's not really a fun thing either. So these might be a pass. Otherwise saying, yeah, they're a good stocking stuffer, especially for the holidays. Give your kid a, a comic book, a little figure, right, to match it. I'll tell you right now, though, the Flashpoint Batman Thomas Wayne is the best figure of the bunch. That's the one I would definitely recommend to you. I know a lot of the Nightwing fans out there are going to be like, well, what about Nightwing, right? Well, yeah, you can grab him too, right? But no guns for Thomas Wayne, of course. We all know that. But the paint's great. The articulation is what it is. But he's a solid-looking figure. And again, much like the Marvel 375s, when you start to kind of get a collection of them, you start to have fun, right? You have the, the whole Flashpoint scenario building up. Batman, Joker, Nightwing, you start to see... All of these kind of scale a bit better, too, than the regular DC Multiverse line, just something to point out. But you see the gargantuan nature of Hal Jordan's arms right there, as opposed to the other releases thus far. But you are starting to build a semblance of a Justice League, so that's kind of cool. And what kind of works is that if, let's say, you had the big Starro collect-to-build figure, they scale well with Starro. So that's something to see. And you can see them in comparison to the Marvel 375s. So just something to point out. And you get to see the style and the size difference between, let's say, the 7-inch DC Multiverse line. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, the 3-inch Page Punchers Wave 2. And thank you again to McFarlane Toys for sending these out to give you guys this early, fresh look. And you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Page Punchers. Which, if any, if you're into this line, which characters would you like to see them tackle next? I'll tell you right now, these aren't really my thing. I would have not have necessarily picked these up. I was kind of like, yeah, Wave 1 is okay. This one's just okay. Although I'll tell you, I am excited for the spawn page punchers. So we'll see how that goes. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.